I got my buddy Oliver here and Tracy, and what we're about to build is a cool hut. So what we got here from a local printing company, they're called Tube Cores. Love it, this stuff is great. See how thick it is? And that's why I like it. And what they do is this is all wrapped up with all the heavy canvas that they print on, and basically they just throw them away. So these are awesome to get. So this is going to be our four corners of our hut here, guys. And then what's gonna happen is once we notch, this is going to slip right into the notch. We're gonna do it all the way around, and that's how it's gonna support itself, and then we're gonna start on the roof. All right, so what the guys did, as you can see here, they already cut our notches into our core tubes. Awesome, you see how thick and weighty this uh, tube is? It's great for the support that we're gonna need. Then what we have is these furring strips, or one by one furring strips. So we cut all our posts for our hut. Now, again, you may not have the space as wide and as big as we have here. So you can make your hut smaller, you can make it tighter, however you want. So what I'm thinking on doing is, we're gonna do our hut probably about six to seven foot long. And it's about probably almost seven foot high on our hut. But you see how that fits right in there. Then what we're gonna do, is we're gonna take this fancy duct tape and we are just gonna duct tape all the way around here to secure this into here. And then we're gonna take tubes, wrap this in tube where it looks like bamboo, put our thatching on top, and we have one cool looking hut. Let's see how our happening hut is coming along. You know, what we wanna do now is we have these beautiful core tubes but I really want to capture that real bamboo. So we just have some, this is like craft paper here, but I've ripped the section off. And I'm kind of just twisting it around. And what we're gonna use is use packing tape, as you can see. And we're gonna do it like every maybe 30 inches around here. And what that's gonna do is that's going to give us more of a 3D look and feel. You know, what you can do, if you don't wanna go the extra mile, you can just paint it. Take a two inch foam brush and do a nice stripe around it and that'll give you the little ribs of the bamboo. But of course we're going to go the extra mile and get that 3D look and feel. Now Bruce is going to show us how to create a bamboo look for our support beams. Okay, Tracy did an awesome job. Again, what we took is our carpet tube and we cut our carpet tube. And what I had Tracy do is go down with the jigsaw right down the center to split this. And remember we have our uh, furring strip or one by here that is holding up our structure. But I wanted to put something up a little bit more beefy up on top here and make it bamboo. So what we did is we put our slit in, go ahead, Trace, take that and just grab it and force it apart and look at that. And then once we get this all duct taped in, get some rope and thatching on this, this is gonna be one awesome hut. Thank you.